Welcome back, I've got a quick video on a Think Tank lens case. I'm still waiting for review items to come in, I'm just working through some products that I've bought myself. This is the Lens Changer 35 version 3. Just thought I'd do an unboxing and show it to you, just to give you an idea what you can expect. This does fit quite a few lenses and I'll show you some of those later on. I've put the quoted figures from Think Tank on screen. On the top of the case you can see you have a loop there which you can carry it with. The back section is padded and it has that velcro attachment and the wrap around effect that they've got uh, around the side so the velcro really does grip around the lens case. There's no way that's going to come off easily, you really do have to pull that. The white plastic part has been on some of the other think tank items that I've looked at and that just slots into the belt system. It's smooth on one side and it's textured on the other side. You can use this on a normal belt or other attachment. It's just their own system which stops it from sliding around. We have elasticated or stretchy fabric on the front part and that can be quite useful for things like a lens cap. You can just slot it in there and it grips enough so that it's not gonna come out by accident. It's also useful for rear lens caps so I assume that's why they have put some stitching down there in the middle. This particular design has a drawstring and that's elasticated and it also has a locking mechanism on there. They do say it can be operated one handed and it can, sort of, but um, obviously if you need to pull it really tight you'll have to use two hands to do that. If you're undoing it then one handed will work on this particular design. If you look at the back of the lens case you can see there is a pocket here and that does have a velcro closing. In that there is an additional flap. And that is the top cover which gives a bit of protection. It is perforated on the other side and it does have some light padding on that. This is really designed for people that want quick access to a lens rather than something which is zipped at the top. And I'll show you some different examples later on. It is fully lined on the inside. It's got slim but dense padding all the way around the case and that includes on the bottom section too. I think there's enough protection here to stop any damage on a lens or a knocks and bumps. This velcro compartment at the bottom is the built-in rain cover and that is sewn into the lens case itself so you can't fully take that out, you just push it back in when you don't want it. As you would expect this does have taped seams and it has a waterproof coating on the underside. So you can just pull that out and flip it over the lens case. And that wraps around the whole of the body. There's only a small bit at the back there, which is not covered. Of course, you couldn't cover that if you're attaching it to a belt or a bag. I'll give you a few examples of lenses now. I'll start off with a Tokina 70 to 200 mm f4. And it's pretty much a perfect fit for that particular lens. Many of the cases for the 70 to 200 mm can be too long. Uh, that's why I was looking at this particular case design concept of this holder is to have quick access rather than to have like huge padding all the way around. Nothing to stop you putting it in the other way around, you might find that a bit easier. I've put a few 70 to 200 millimeter lenses, the sizes on screen from different makers. Just to give you an idea, do remember to allow for the hood and the front and rear caps and if you have a filter attached. Next up we're going on to the 24-70 Tokina again. I have put the size on screen for you and I have measured out the size with the hood attached and it does fit into this case without a problem. You'll find that most of those types of lenses are quite similar in size. This one is about as wide as you'd want to go with that lens case. And it also fits the Sigma 105mm macro. I don't often use the hood with this lens but I've put it on just to show you because that is one of the lenses that they do list out. So if you've got a macro from 90 to 105 millimeter, you should have no problems fitting it into this case. It's in that size area, a mid sort of size, which will fit quite a few different lenses. You should also be able to fit ultra wide angle lenses inside this without a problem. I did check the measurements myself. There is a bit of flex, obviously, because it's a case, but I'm gonna call it 115 by 215 millimeters. That's slightly wider than their own figures, but not quite as long. Up to around 20 centimeters in length should fit in. 
do remember with the rain cover, if you just sort of shove that in there, that will take up more space at the bottom. So if you pack that away neatly, you could gain a little bit of extra space. If you need a larger one, the next one up is the 75 pop down. Think Tank do have a chart, so I'll just put that on screen for you. That should give you an idea of which ones will fit different lenses. I'm trying to sort of consolidate my lens cases a bit. I have quite a few different ones. I do appreciate the fact that Sigma do give you a lens case with their lenses, but they are pretty bulky. The drawstring one is a Nikon one, and they're okay for storage, but that's not particularly ideal for any kind of serious lens protection. The main reason I got this was so that I could attach it if I need to, to the bag that I got. Just if I need to carry some extra equipment and I've already used up all my space inside, it is quite useful for that. The only other potential drawback is if you're in a dusty environment, you probably want to put that cover over it. If you need a lot of top lens protection, this might not be ideal, but if you're someone who wants to get quick access to a lens and has a reasonable amount of padding around it, I quite like the design on this one. Hope that gave you a decent idea of what you can expect with this lens case. Don't forget, do stick around, I have more videos coming up soon, and thanks for watching.